Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome to Cooking with Ritz and Rez. So when we first started posting again, a lot of you guys have requested that you want to see Rez cooking. I don't know why. What's so special about you cooking? No idea. <laughs> so a lot of you guys want to see Rez cooking. I think I showed once in a vlog you cooking egg fried rice. So today Rez is going to be cooking egg fried rice. We have all the ingredients behind us. So this is just a basic quick egg fried rice, isn't it? <laughs> so we're just going to show the ingredients. We're going to be using uh, two and a half cups of rice, um, this size. So this is just one? Yeah, this is just one, just to show you guys what we're going to use to measure it out with. Half a cup of sweet corn, some dark soy sauce, six eggs, some coriander, chilli, an onion, just you only need one. A few slices of lemons, depending on how tangy you want it, and just a little tiny bit of ghee, like a little tiny dollop, and of course oil. So that's just ingredients for two people plus some extra. Yeah. So that's just for us right now. So me, Reds, and maybe some for tomorrow. If you want to make it for more people, we might have to... Just double the ingredients Yeah. I'm just showing you. So if you want to make it for that family of four, six, whatever, just double mm. it, triple it. It's really basic, actually. Yeah. And then... Just a quick, easy, simple, what do you call it? Recipe. Recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut the onion now. Do you know what, do you, know what you call um, a chef that cuts up all the vegetables and stuff? What? A sous chef. So you can be I'm the real chef. So you can be my sous chef for today. A sous chef. I'm the real chef. So I'm going to cut the onion now because when Red, Red cuts onion for some reason it affects her eyes more than... I have such sensitive eyes. It's yeah, like she just joke. she just starts crying her eyes out <laughs> over one onion. So I'm just going to cut the onion now. I'm going to cut the onion now. For some reason Red, Red, <laughs> Red thinks I don't know how to cut an onion. She's no, like, don't cut that side. You're going to die. You don't cut that side? No. Okay. Uh, so Rez is so scared. Why do She's acting we... like I'm about to like set the house on fire. Because uh, I don't trust you. It's one onion. Yeah, but you you won't cut it the way I wanted you to. Make sure you cut it really thin. Yeah, I'm. Um, because actually. um, this isn't a curry, so we're not going to yeah. be adding any water to dissolve the onion. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the last part you're supposed to cut. Uh, Wait, can you just wash it quickly? No. You're supposed to. It's washed. Ah. It's washed. No, wash it. What the hell? And the outside. <laughs> I don't find you in my life or something. Yeah, for yourself. I don't like you the way you do it. It's unhygienic. You, want, you can't cut it. No. So you if can. you guys wash your onions. Who doesn't though? I don't think anyone washes Please them. Please let us know down in the comments if you do no. wash your onions before cutting them because you're supposed to. If you wash your onions, if your parents wash your onions, let us know down below because... Okay, you're cutting them really nicely so far. Well done, yeah, well done. Yeah, I told done. you. I know how to cut No, you don't. That's yeah. the slowest way you can cut an onion. Haven't you watched me cut onions before? Okay, but at least my eyes don't burn. Okay, it's starting to, <laughs> okay, it's starting to um, burn my eyes. I'm going to run away while you cut them. Bye. I forgot we also need to cook the rice. Um, usually this dish tastes nicer with old, like one or two day old rice. But um, Guys, make sure you cut your rice. <laughs> so I'm going to just cook um, two pots of these, and two and a half pots actually. And uh, you have to wash it thoroughly before you cook it. Ten times. So guys, I sprinkled some olive oil in right now. So we're going to use six eggs. So you have to cook the eggs beforehand, put it onto a plate once they're cooked because um, if you just dash it in with the rice then um, it's, yeah, it's going to go yeah. soggy and mushy and there won't be actual pieces of eggs, there will just be like little mini dots of nothing. <laughs> because like, I've realised that when you have the eggs inside the rice, yeah. like mix with it, it goes really like soggy and like, it has this texture, it's it nice. tastes raw no matter what you do to it. Yeah. So these are really big eggs, six really big eggs. Yeah. It's not really sizzling. <laughs> I should give the pan some time to heat up. I'm going to scramble these up. You know, put it on somewhere. high heat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. And um, there's salt and pepper right next to you. Let's dash a little bit in. Oh no, you trust me with the salt and pepper? Yeah, apparently he's the salt master. I'm the salt master of the guys. family. Where the hell is the salt? Oh, here. Yeah. Why are you going so far? <laughs> so I'm the salt master guys I know the That's his saying, not anybody else's Everyone knows mm -hmm. I add the perfect salt and pepper to everything I don't need to test it out Just add it in By the way, this is meant to be like a recipe So you can add as much salt and pepper as you think Is you good need. enough for you yeah. So there's no measurements or teaspoon or tablespoon yeah. But Rez has cut up the coriander How much coriander would you say? Like a handful? Just a handful um, like this, I don't know how, like corbel lemon or something. Yeah. Um, two like really medium small chilies, and I cut up these onions. You I just see they're really onion. nice. You just grab them and crunch. Ew! Really? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. 
So it starts sizzling up now. Coming along now. Okay, let's put the heat a bit down. Is this my cooking or are you cooking today? You're my sous chef and helper, so... I thought sous chef was just for the vegetables. I can't crack eggs and record at the same time, so that's why I thought I'd get you, you to crack them. them I usually add this to everything almost. So um, parsley. parsley, really good for you. Yes, it is. Just dash it on, give it that little touch of colour, I don't this know. It makes everything look, look and taste so much better. I don't know what it does in terms of taste, but I know it makes it look a lot better. Okay. You want to keep your eggs plain because you're going to add all the flavour to your rice and veggies. Yeah, you're going to add this. onions. So, one other thing Rez has done is we use frozen sweet corn. So, as you saw, half a cup. Rez has added kettle water, so really hot water, to defrost these. You can defrost it in a, I don't know, in a pan if you want. You can defrost it, no, it in a microwave. Like so these are almost done you have to make sure that you don't overcook them only because you're going to add these to the rice later and they're going to cook a tiny bit more so i us adding some olive oil just enough to make the pan not stick um, you, got all the ingredients. you need to add enough for um the onions to cook nicely yeah um just a little tiny dollop you don't need to add this this is optional but it does make the rice taste so much better um so don't add too much just like a little spoon like this and yeah. that would be enough okay so as you can see our cook is really strong so we're going to put a number three half the heat so this is a test you have to chuck it in like this and see how it reacts and if it reacts normally like that then you can just go ahead and chuck it in add all the onions in before you let it soften just add some salt to it and then this tiny bit of pepper you can add more later so you mix that up give it a good mix until it softens up and also do it on the highest heat all right can chop this thing suddenly? No, you have to um, chop it really finely, otherwise you're going to end up chewing these pieces and you don't want that, you want them to dissolve. Yeah, so something we forgot, Rez added one little clove of garlic, just, what's, why do you add garlic? To um, make it smell go? Yeah, just to make that eggy smell go and um, like that enhance then? the flavour. Yeah, so if you want, you can grate it, as long as it disappears in there, Yeah. and if it doesn't disappear, you just got to pick them out at the end, yeah. which is going to be too annoying to do. Mix them in now. Onions are slowly getting soft too, as you can see, they become a bit more flimsy. For some reason, Rez really wanted to add carrots, so she peeled two, what is it, medium sized carrots? Yeah, one mini and one medium size. Yeah, and she diced them up. So, this is a new ingredient besides the sweet corn. So, she's gonna add this in now. This is the stage of the onions right now, so they need to be a bit like kind of mashed. Um, up. I added a little tiny bit of um, more oil because it's starting to dry up, um, because I'm gonna add some more ingredients, so this needs a bit of oil too. Yeah, um, so she's gonna add the carrots I'm now. I'm gonna add the carrots first to the, soften them up. Yeah, how did you know? Because sweet corn is, is already soft. Yeah, <laughs> these carrots are literally just not frozen but just cut, diced up, not boiled, nothing, just straight in there. Next, we're just gonna add a little bit of flavor because they're Asian. <laughs> so, you got this little tin of flavor. So, we're gonna add a little bit of um, turmeric, tiny bit because you don't want too much. Um, Some chili powder. chili powder, yeah. I don't know what the rest are called. Okay, a bit more turmeric. And a little bit more chili flakes. By the way, guys, I only know turmeric, chili powder, chili flakes, and these three are, they just, I don't know what they are. They just all look the same. Okay, so a little bit of chili flakes for some kick. Um, this is curry powder, and to refill it. Just a little bit, you don't need too much. Um, this is garam masala. Um, this is coriander powder. Wait, one second, let me smell it. Let me smell it yeah. to find out. Um, and that's, um, I can't remember what you call it in English. <laughs> <laughs> As if two chilies weren't enough. You gotta add more. Oh. At this point, you can also just dash in some soya sauce for extra flavour. But I'm gonna add some more of this when I put the rice in. <laughs> I love it, just literally dash it in. <laughs> so just give, give it a nice mix. Yep. It goes a bit brown. Okay, and then next, um, we we'll add the sweet corn, half a cup of sweet corn. It's actually a lot of sweet corn, by the way, guys. I mean, if you don't want to add that much, you don't have to. Yeah, you can add as much as you want, and you can add the um, choices of vegetables that you want. You can add broccoli, um, you could add cool jets. Um, I think people would like peppers, maybe? Yeah, you can add peppers, anything, but we just chose to keep it simple today. So the next step will be to add the rice, but before we can add the rice, this needs to soften up. Yep. So we put the heat on half the heat and just put a lid on it for how long? Um, for like 3 to 5 minutes depending on how fast it's cooking 
<laughs> just walking into it. <laughs> Ever since I've done the skin journey video, I've been breaking out so bad. Someone gave me that. Someone definitely gave me evil eyes. So ever since I've done that video, my skin has gone so bad. I've just not had the best skin after doing that video. I thought I'm gonna do this video to help some people out, let people know that it's okay to go through this and how to deal with it. And now I've just got all bad. I'm giving it a, a mix so it doesn't like stick to the pan or burn. Yeah, so you just gotta mix it in between two while it's softening up. Yeah, just check on it and just give it a little mix if you need the mix. So everything's nicely done. The carrots look a lot softer. And how much was that? Two and a half pots of rice. Yeah. So the rice is going in now. It needs to be broken up nicely. Yeah, um it's easier to actually break it break the rice before putting it in because it's just easier that way, trust me. Yeah, the flavour will spread out evenly and nice. Dash it in now. So, yeah, just add it all the way in. Dash. Alright, dash it in. Dash it so hard it, it flies everywhere. This is where you dash this in. You dash it in, some guys. Small. Add some Coca-Cola. <laughs> it looks like Coke. Right? Not too much, though, because it will uh, cover all the other flavours. Yeah, this right. actually makes it more salty if you add way too much of yeah. it. So if you want to add lots of this and you actually like it with lots of this, then try and add less salt in the beginning. This is already like looking like a four or five people meal. You have to just keep mixing it until the flavour gets to every little rice grain. When you see any white parts, just mush it in. No, it's actually quite a lot of rice though. Yeah, careful, don't chop it the pan. It does look like art on the tap to do that. Yes. Absolutely. You're the one that's dashing everything. <laughs> so you have to just try and get all of the flavour mixed nice and evenly because you don't want some salty bites and some bites that are just like don't talk about, don't talk about it like you know what you're living <laughs> <laughs> i've made this so many times guys <laughs> i've always just watched rose make it but this is such a like simple meal yes yeah, so um, easy especially when you're not bothered to cook dinner or anything this is like the easiest thing to run to yeah like cooking chicken the first thing you're waiting hours takes a lot of time yeah you need to add your coriander and chili chilies just dash that in there you go. You dash it in the whole plate and you just put the plate in oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and also um you can squeeze in your lemon you just want my hands to get dirty isn't it so you squeeze in your lemon or do you dash it no, you have to squeeze this one out, dash it. There you go, give it a good squeeze. Oh no, wait, there's, oh no, there's no seeds in this. No. Make sure there's no seeds in your lemon. Yep. Oh, Otherwise, you're going to be eating. You're going to get a nasty bite wait, later. There's, no, there's actually a seed in there, is. Oh. Can I stick my hand in? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a spoon there. Next to you. Oh, okay. Don't burn your hands. So, yeah, we've got a seed in here. Let's take it out and then you give it a nice mix. Do you want to mix it or should I mix it? I'll mix it, it's okay. fine. I'm the one cooking this after all. <coughs> yeah. So make sure your eggs are nicely spread, not sticking together. Yeah. Act like I know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> so you add your little white looking egg. And we're using a dark soy sauce because the light one doesn't actually give any flavour. So. And by the way, I said this is for two people and maybe a bit extra. <laughs> uh, maybe I was wrong. This is probably this could for... Feed four, 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 normal humans. four to six people. No, four normal humans. Normal humans. <laughs> this is either feed. <laughs> This even feeds six people or one big Asian. This feeds four of my size and three of his size humans. Um, yeah. If you're Asian, this probably will just be your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a bit too far. Perez decided to add some more parsley. I don't think parsley does anything, uh, but I see some difference, but I don't actually know what it does. So I'm actually going to do a taste test now. So i got a bite over here. I'll let it cool down. It's actually really nice. Yeah. I can't even say that it needs anything. So it doesn't need any more salt or anything? No. According to my taste, it doesn't need salt. It doesn't need any sort of flavour. If you guys want any different kind of flavours, I don't know what I can think of. No, there's nothing else you should add to it because it will make it taste a bit weird otherwise. Yeah, if you guys want to add your own type of flavours that you guys really like, then you, you can do experiment. that. you want to experiment, yes, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you want to make this into an experiment, but we know that this way is nice, but... If you want to experiment, add your own little flavours, you can do that yeah. if this isn't your style, if this isn't the type of spice you like, you can always add less. But so, just look at um, this. The rice is ready now, you don't want to overcook it, so I've switched off the cooker now. Yeah, it's getting to that point where it's actually going to be overcooked if you yeah, do it. Yeah, um, it'll go crunchy and not nice. So this is the final product. We'll um, put it onto our plates and um, give you a taste test. 
<laughs> Give you a taste test. I show them how it tastes. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, okay. I mean, I love it. What do you say they found me? I know. So guys, we're here with our egg fried rice now. So I have some chicken on the side. I'm not going to mix the chicken in, by the way. I'm just going to eat them separate. So I want another bite. <laughs> I think it's going to be dry now. Some people will keep cooking it thinking that it's going to become nicer but the rice will actually become more hard and it will become dry. So just take it out whenever it's ready. Mm -hmm. When it comes to a point where you don't even know what to eat, you've had chicken, you've had all your pastas and everything, you just don't know what to eat and you don't, you just want to relax. You just, you can cook this in literally within, how long was that? 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. Really quick recipe, really cheap recipe as well. Just cook this, won't cost you more than like, what is that, two pounds, isn't it? Yeah. So we just start with your cooking video for you guys. If you guys want to see actual, like, I would say this is like a warm up kind of cooking video. If you guys want to see an actual cooking video, a proper detailed one, how to cook, I don't know, what ideas do you have? Prawn curry, lamb, like curry, like different things that res can cook you guys can learn how to cook it that way because i've tasted it before and it's actually really nice you guys want to see res cooking so if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see her cook because no one left any suggestions on what you want to see her cook you just said you want to see her cook so whatever you want to see let's know down below and it doesn't just have to be curry ideas it could be any english dish any yeah. pasta it could be anything so i think it's better to cook stuff that you know yeah because you know how to make it yeah. the better way because when you follow recipes usually online you have to add your own little bits and pieces to make it your way Always. this is kind of our way of making it it wasn't a professional recipe video there's no specific measurements but if you watch the full video you know how much of everything to add and you add it to your own taste yeah. you don't have to add that much chili flakes this much chili that much sweet corn if you want to add some peppers for example you can dice them up add them in whatever you guys prefer add them in so if you guys want to try this video you can try it at home it will take like not that long but if you guys do try it let us know down below message us our social media links are down below so message us if you make it and let us know if you enjoyed it what other ideas you want to see in the next video comment them down below if you made it this far to the video comment down below an egg emoji so we know that you made it this far if you guys enjoyed this cooking video let us know down below we've done other cooking videos before but not like this not full on one this is yeah. an actual cooking video yeah, so if you guys want to see something like this, but in more depth, more detail, something a lot better, this was just a really simple thing. So if you guys want to see that, let us know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So as you know, at the end of every single video, I give a comment shout out to my favorite comment from the last video. So this video's comment shout out goes to Jazar Hello. Thanks for liking the comment in the last video. If you want to comment shout out, leave a nice positive comment down below. And see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Leave some suggestions down below. And see you guys next time. And peace. Oh. We're gonna have focus, but see you guys next time. Bye. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you.